Let's take a look at the student and parent walkthrough on MyCatholicFaithDelivered.com. We're going to take a quick look at how to log in, what the dashboard looks like, and some basic information on your course navigation. Let's go ahead and start. First, you want to get, navigate to MyCatholicFaithDelivered.com. You can do this, of course, one of two ways. There is a link in the email that you were sent when your child was registered for their class that will allow you to get to this page. In that same email, you're going to see the username and the password. Make sure you make a note of those two for this initial login. Just as a quick note, that link in the initial login email that you received will only work once. So after the first time you use it, you're going to want to go ahead and open up your browser and go to MyCatholicFaithDeliver.com independently of that link. And that's the other way you can get to this page, by going to whichever your preferred browser is and typing in MyCatholicFaithDelivered.com. For browsers, we recommend using Chrome but you are also able to use Firefox, Edge, or Safari, depending on your device. Once you are on the main page, you're going to want to navigate up to the top right and click on Login. Once on the login page, you can either copy and paste in the username that was received in the email for your child, along with the password that was received in that email, or you can type it in. I do recommend if you copy and paste, be sure that you don't grab any extra spaces either before or after the username or password because the system will recognize those as a valid character and it may return an error. One more note about the username for the student is that it is an anonymous one. So this email is not real and cannot receive any mail to it. However, it is set up like this to be anonymous so that way we can protect the privacy of the students in our system. Once you input the information, go ahead and click on sign in. Once you're successful, you can go ahead and click on dashboard on the pop-up. This will take you into the system itself. Welcome to your dashboard. This is what your student will see every time they log in. On this main dashboard page, we have some widgets that take the student into other parts of the system, but it also allows them to navigate directly to things like their courses straight from here. This first widget, and maybe one of the most important ones, is the My Courses widget. From here, the student can go directly to their courses, typically only one, and allow them to continue either from where they left off or to begin if they haven't yet gone into their course. To the right side, we have our notifications, along with the ability to go in between the different threads that may be created by the instructor or the admin that pertain to your particular class or to your particular school or parish. Your student is able to comment on threads, but they're not able to start any of their own. One other area to note is the top right where you see the student's name. Go ahead and click on the student's name. This is where you're going to be able to see where you can change the password. Scroll down to settings and click on settings. On here, you can update both your address if that's something you wanted to input, but most importantly, you're gonna be able to update your password here. Once you click into the box, the requirements are listed. And once you fulfill those requirements, you'll only have to enter the password in again, and then click on submit to save the new password. Back on our dashboard, there are two places to get into where the courses are. One is that widget we mentioned earlier. The other place you can navigate to is the Learn tab. I'm going to go ahead and click on the Learn tab here at the top. On the Learn tab, you're going to see some information. You're going to see the number of lessons that the student has completed, how much time total they've spent in their lessons and minutes overall, and the courses themselves down here. Each course is comprised of different lessons, which once you click on it, you are able to see. 
Another thing I want to point out real quick before we go into our courses and that navigation is this archived courses area. Go ahead and click on archived courses. In archived courses, right now we have no courses found, which is exactly what we want to see. Sometimes a student may accidentally archive an active course, and so if you're not able to see the student's course listed under their My Courses tab, it might be because they accidentally archived it. So you would just need to click on Archived Courses, come here, and see if you can find it. Once you find it, you can click on it to unarchive it. Back under My Courses, I'm going to go ahead and click on My Third Grade Class to begin. Once you click on the course, it's going to take you to a list of the lessons within that course. We can scroll down to see all of them here. And you can see down at the bottom maybe where they could accidentally archive the course. Scrolling back up to the top, you're able to start a course by clicking into any of these lessons. You can navigate between different lessons as the system does allow you to skip around. However, every unit test applies to the previous four lessons, so you want to make sure that you've gone through each of those lessons before moving on to that unit test. If you click on the Student and Family Resources, you're able to find the activity book and the additional material that you may need to assist with any work that your student has or maybe has questions over. Once you've reviewed a lesson fully and completed all the different activities within a lesson, you're going to see what you see here a green check mark. That means everything within that lesson has been completed. Let's go ahead and open up lesson one to take a look at the interior navigation within the lesson. Inside of each lesson, you're going to have the ability to take a look at the different activities that make up that lesson. For this one, we have them all listed over to the left side under the menu. If you wish to collapse the menu, you can click on the three bars or expand it again by clicking on those same three bars. You are again, like in the lessons, able to skip around, but it is recommended that you go through the lesson in order. Each lesson begins with a prayer, and many of our lessons do additionally have audio narration or audio accompaniment to parts of the activities. I currently have mine muted, but if you have your audio toggled on, you'd be able to hear the accompaniment there. After that, you can go through and see a psalm or a passage. And then depending on whether or not your admin decided to include pre-assessments, you may then have a pre-assessment area. What the pre-assessment does is test the student's knowledge before they go through the actual coursework. Both the pre-assessment and the post-assessment are required to complete the pre-assessment, you just need to select the applicable answer to each question and then click the Submit Answers button on the page. Each lesson also contains words to know, which are things that you will learn about further in the lesson. They will have flashcards or other interactive elements for your student to interact with, and they will also have some games to help reinforce the knowledge that they've learned so far. The post-assessment will test the student on their knowledge that they gained during the course of this particular lesson. Again, like the pre-assessment, you will answer each question within the page, navigate to the next page if there is a page two, and click Submit Answers at the end to save your answers. Throughout the course of the lesson, you can either navigate between, like I have been doing over on the left side, or what I highly recommend doing is clicking on the navigation to the bottom right. You'll have both an area that says next page to move to the next page in your lesson, or you can go to the previous page if you need to by clicking previous. Back at the top, there are some additional features within the lesson that are useful to know. You can exit this particular lesson by clicking on the blue exit to the top right. You can click on journal for the student to make some notes about a particular area of the lesson or if a lesson prompts them to complete a journal entry. The journal is specific to each student and so the admin or instructor does not have access to view their journal entries. 
You may also bookmark a page if there's a particular area that you wish to reference. So if I wanted to remember to go back to my words to know page and bookmark this, I would be able to add the bookmark and then reference that later. I can also to the top left, click return to course to go back to my overall page of lessons. On this page, we can see the overall course progress of how much we've completed of this course so far. We can see anything that has a green check mark, which means that that's been fully completed, or a gray check mark, which means that there's still some elements or activities of that particular lesson that need to be completed. We saved a bookmark earlier, so if we were to click on this bookmarks box, we'd be able to see all of our bookmarks listed there. If the student would like to know what they still need to complete within the lesson, they can either, of course, click back into the lesson itself to see what pages or assessments might need to be completed, or they can view the report. To view the report, you can either click on this hyperlink here, or go up to the reports tab at the top and click on my reports. I'm going to go ahead and go to the Reports tab and click on My Reports. These reports are specific to each student. I can take a look here at Lesson 1 and I can see my total time spent. And I can take a look at the status. If I want to know why my status is not at 100%, I can click on the Show link under Notes. This will tell me if I've missed any pages, or if I've missed any assessments. Once the student knows what they still need to complete, they're able to go ahead and go back to the Learn tab, and I can go back into my course. Once I click on the course now, it will take me back to where I last left off. On here, I can now navigate through any missed pages, or I can go ahead and complete the assessments that I've missed. Once the student has completed all of the activities within the lesson, they're going to reach the end of the lesson where they can see to either proceed on to the next lesson by clicking Exit Lesson to the bottom right, or they can go ahead and click Exit or Return to Course to go back to that overall lesson page. I'm going to go ahead and click on Exit Lesson. Now I can see that both my Student and Family Resources and Lesson 1 has a green check mark. If I go back to my report by clicking on View Report here, I'm going to see now that Lesson 1 says Completed, and it's going to list that I have completed the post-assessment. The first score is the very first time that the student takes the assessment, and Best Score is there if the student takes the assessment more than once. If you click on the individual lesson, and then click on View underneath Assessments to the right, you can see the different assessments and the different scores that this student has. A student can retake any assessment as many times as they would like. Each time they take an assessment, their score will be recorded here. And that is an overall view of the student and parent perspective on our My Catholic Faith Delivered site. If you have any questions or if you need any assistance, I recommend first reaching out to the teacher of the course for your student or to the admin for your school or parish. You can also reach out to us directly at support at catholicfaithtech.com. Thank you for learning with us. I hope you have a great school year.